Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be diving into some of the products that I picked up from the new Be My Universe collection by Etude House. At the end, I will be showing you some quick swatches of the products that I did manage to get my hands on, so the palettes and the lipstick shades. But if you want to see how they wear, how they apply, and how they blend, and how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay, so for today's video, I'm actually going to be using the Pinky Galaxy palette for my eyes, even though I will be dipping into the Golden Galaxy palette later on for the highlighter. The very first shade I picked up is called Venus, and I'm just adding that to the crease for a nice transition shade. And I was really surprised that this showed up on my skin at all because in the past I've had a little bit of issue with pigmentation and Etude House eyeshadows. But this one seems to be doing a really nice job not only in terms of pigmentation but also blending out. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade Time Warp and apply that all over the lid. And once again I was pleasantly surprised by this shade because... Well, for once, it does show up on my skin so you could clearly see the pigmentation and it just feels and acts a lot differently than other shimmery shades I've used in Etude House palettes in the past. So it's just a lot more buildable, a lot more pigmented and blendable in general. However, one thing that really hasn't changed about these shadows is the amount of fallout you get from them. And just wait until you see how much fallout I get from this shade, which is Andromeda, which I will be placing in my outer V. And just as I've done with all of the other shades to balance out the look, I will be dragging this through the bottom lash line too. And I will go ahead and say that the only bad thing about this shade is that the fallout doesn't sweep off as easily. So I did still have a bit of purple specks left on my cheeks. And I did have to touch up with foundation later on, so that kind of sucked. Next, to bring back a little bit of brightness to the look, I decided to pick up the shade Moonlight and hit the inner corners of my eyes. And the very last shadow I wanted to test out is called Mercury, which I wanted to place underneath my brow bone as a highlight. And it kind of worked and it kind of didn't. It's also the powderiest shadow in the palette, but it's all good. And of course, I was really excited about the blush shade that comes in the palette, which is called Pink Planet, which adds a really beautiful flush of color to the skin and I absolutely fell in love with. Then I went ahead and grabbed the Golden Galaxy palette, so the second palette because I wanted to test out the highlighter Gold Planet and once again I was pleasantly surprised. It reminds me a little bit of their Secret Beam highlighter which I love and adore. It's not as intense but just as pretty. And last but not least, I decided to be uncharacteristically daring for my lipstick shade and I decided to use Aurora Purple, which is one of the two shades I picked up from the collection. It actually turned out to be a little bit more pinkier than purple, which I appreciate because it makes it a little bit more wearable. It is, however, super shimmery. You guys know how I feel about Etude House lipsticks. I love the consistency. They're really comfortable to wear. They're not as long lasting, but they do fade gracefully and they leave a nice stain behind. And that completes the look. Next, let's go ahead and move on to the swatches. All right, so here we have Pink Galaxy. Let's start off with the eyeshadow shades. So first off, we have Andromeda, followed by Moonlight, Mercury, Venus, Red Wormhole, Time Warp, and Pink Planet, which is the blush shade. Then we have Golden Galaxy. These shades are Yorktown, Gravity, Jupiter, Mars, Lonely Pluto, Sunlight, and Gold Planet, which is the highlighter shade. And last, we have the two of the five shades that I decided to pick up. These are part of the glass tinting lip talk formulas, Stellar Red and Aurora Purple. So there you have it. What do you guys think of this new Be My Universe collection? Is it something you would be interested in picking up? 
Me personally, I think it might be well worth it, especially if you've enjoyed other Etude House collections in the past. I know some of them can be hits and misses, for example, not a lot of people were a big fan of the Wonder Fun Park collection, but some people did enjoy the Pink Skull collection. I happen to be one of those people, which is why I was so excited about this collection and I was willing to give them a second chance to redeem themselves, and I am so glad that they did. Did. But of course, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by and until next time. Bye!